gotta get more footage of this sailing because it is so fun. <laughs> so fun! Whoa! Wow, look, Chris is with them. Oh my god, that was so cool! Me and Mia hanging out. We are permission. Woohoo! Oh shit! The wheel fell off. Hold on, but I'll bring him in by hand. Wow! A beautiful fish. Hey guys, sitting on the beach here, or on the sitting on the wharf here in in Russell. Beautiful morning. It's been raining. It was raining yesterday, uh, but today is an absolutely stunning. It's getting quite warm here, actually. I wanted to share this video because I wanted to talk about the grind in the context of entrepreneurship. As I've heard a lot of people recently say that what makes a good entrepreneur is somebody that can grind, that can grind it out. Uh, and in fact, I heard a, I saw a prominent speaker post the other day that all we have as entrepreneurs is the grind. Uh, that in reality, we're lonely, suffering people, and we should support each other in grinding harder. Quite frankly, I don't agree with that. When I hear the word grind, what comes to my mind is, you know, when you're driving in your car and you're gonna shift from first to second or second to third, uh, and you you grind the clutch. Um, you know, when you're like, you hear that sound, that sound, when you try and force those gears together and the clutch doesn't wanna go. That to me is, 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 is what a grind is. That's an annoying, uh, really bad sound and if you continue to grind the gears on your clutch in your car what happens is you wear the little teeth out that are on the ends of the clutch you wear those teeth out and when you wear those teeth out you've got to replace the clutch the clutch will, will absolutely cease to function when you wear those teeth out if you grind it too many times in that context I think that grinding is actually detrimental to entrepreneurship because grinding something uh, wears out the very thing that you're trying to use. So when you grind yourself as an entrepreneur, you actually wear yourself out and become less effective at whatever it is that you're trying to do. This, re this resonates with me because for the, a, a long time in my life, I was a grinder. I would grind and grind and grind and grind and grind. And if you asked you know, three of my closest friends at this time in my life what I was the best at or what, what made me a good entrepreneur, they would say, Chris, he grinds and he hustles. He keeps grinding and he keeps hustling. Doesn't matter what happens, he keeps grinding and he keeps hustling. And that had a tremendous cost in my life. Um, I shared a video the other day about actually really fundamentally loving the work that I do now. Uh, and I didn't love the work that I did then, but I grinded, I, I, you know, I, I, I pushed my way through it um, at a tremendous cost that was my, ultimately was my own unhappiness. So, so what's the solution? Well, the solution is what works for you. Um, the analogy I, I, that comes to my mind is, is the analogy of yoga, where grinding is something painful. You know, entrepreneurship should be uncomfortable. If it's not uncomfortable, you're not leaning in far enough. You're not expanding yourself. Uh, and it's the same with yoga. You know, yoga should be uncomfortable. They tell you that when you go to yoga. If you're doing yoga properly, um, it should be slightly uncomfortable. It shouldn't be painful. The difference between pain and discomfort. And I believe entrepreneurship is exactly the same. Entrepreneurship should be uncomfortable. You should be constantly pushing your side, yourself outside of your comfort zone, doing new things that make you uncomfortable. That's just like yoga. You're trying out new positions and poses that your body's not used to, and they make you uncomfortable. Um, but as you lean into that new space, it becomes comfortable. Then you push yourself a little bit further. So, the, to me, that's, that's much different though than grinding, than forcing yourself into that pose or that uncomfortable space. Because when you force yourself in, there's a cost. And that's, I think, what is, is missing in all this talk about grinding as entrepreneurs, is what is the cost of all this grinding? Eventually, the little teeth on our clutches are gonna wear out, and that's the cost. And we're not like a clutch. We can't just go to the store and buy a new one. When we wear ourselves out, there's a tremendous and significant cost to it. So, to me, entrepreneurship is about, it's about connection. It's about, first and foremost, connection with yourself. 
Uh, and when you connect to yourself and you enter what I would describe as a flow state, which is the opposite of a grind. When you're connected and you're aligned as a human being to who you fundamentally are and what is important to you, you enter a bit of a flow state, like when you go to shift from second to third or first to second in your car, and you have a smooth shift. When you're aligned, when all those little teeth are aligned, uh, and the teeth of the clutch would be you, aligned with the world, when you're aligned and you shift, there is no grind. It goes smoothly, you're in a flow. And I think the message of the video is just to, to look at where we're grinding and let's not over glorify it. When we grind, let's look at that not as, hey, this is a great thing, I'm grinding. Um, but hey, maybe I'm grinding, maybe this is, I'm pushing a little hard here. Why is this grinding? Why am I grinding my clutch right now? What can I do to ease off a little bit, shift the way that I'm approaching this shift and to shift in the sense of the car and um, maybe it'll go a little bit smoother. Wow, and ah, here we have the... Nono who caught another skipjack tuna. The picture doesn't uh, justify the smell that we have here. <laughs> the boy oh, is doing a, oh, attempting a hose rep uh, head repair. It's not going to explode on you, is it? I think you can bring it down just one notch, please. What's that? Just lower the volume just a little bit. What's that one? Uh, Moana. Yes. My God. He's huge, eh? I just want to get, for the record, all the, tell us about your uh, numbers as far as what you've caught in your lifetime. <laughs> uh -huh. 400 mile on. What was fish. the most exciting fish you caught? Um...